Hi, I'm George Cow, and in today's short video, I want to talk with you about, well, I want to answer the question, how do you get clients as soon as possible? Okay, so I'm going to share with you a couple of thoughts, and I look forward to your comments and your questions, because I think learning happens best from questions and answers. So I'm breathing a little hard because uh, I've been climbing a lot here. Okay, so if you want to get clients as soon as possible, you have to be willing to do a couple things. One is either to scale up the degree of your outreach, because obviously, if you want to get clients, you need more people who know about your services. I mean, come on, you can't just expect to somehow uh, uh, set up a website and then expect people suddenly come to you. Actually, there are a lot of people who have that fantasy. Oh, I just set up a website. How come I don't have clients yet? Well, there are billions, uh, at least hundreds of millions of websites on the internet. How are people going to find you? So you have to be willing to scale up your outreach. So talking to more people, emailing more of your friends and colleagues, um, posting on social media more frequently. Okay, so some ideas of scaling of outreach. And I'm going to, as usual, I'll put up some more ideas, notes, details uh, in the text that's attached to this video. Okay, the second thing is you've got to be, well, um, the better, the second aid is that the better your fit, the better your offering is a fit with the audience you're reaching out to, the less outreach you need to do. So one example is if you are talking to someone who has a particular type of life-threatening illness, let's just say a particular type of cancer, and you have a solution to that particular type of cancer, you don't need to do very much selling. You don't need to talk to that many people because you're, ta- you're, you're offering the f- exact thing that the person is desperately wanting. So the fit between your offering and the audience is the second idea. The better the fit, the less people you have to talk to. The less certain the fit, you're not sure, you're just, you've got the solution and you're not 100% sure that the people you're talking to are actually looking. They know they have the problem that your solution solves and they're actually looking for a solution. They're looking to buy a solution. The less that's true, the more people you have to talk to to just hopefully get lucky that you're going to talk to somebody who needs it. Does that make sense? Okay, so the third idea is willingness to change. Because if you are not doing a lot of outreach and you're unwilling to change the fit between your service and your audience, you're not going to get any clients. But if you're willing to change, everybody you talk to that you're able to have a conversation with about the, 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 the offering, you listen to them. Listen to say, okay, where is this offering a really good fit for you? What does it really help you do and help you solve or help you create or, or reach in your life? And what parts of the offering don't matter to you? And you're willing to keep modifying your offering so that it matches the people you're talking to or you're willing to keep talking to different types of people Okay, willingness to change will allow you to get clients faster. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that's a, a nice framework for you to, to uh, evaluate your actions by. And as usual, open to your comments and your questions. So until the next video, I wish you clarity and calmness in getting all the clients that you need. Be well.